Visco. So let us start with the uh, Ray router family. So we have the routers for 100 users, 200 users, 300 users, 1000, 2000, and even more. Yeah, so if for 100 users, you can you guys can see there's an EG1. Yeah, this is a 100. And for 200, EG2. Yeah, this is for 200. For 300, EG3. Yeah. So actually it's very, it's very easy so we do have some this kind like look like switch but actually they are, they are router it's just that they're without wi-fi so we do have some wi-fi router as well so you guys can see from this here so we have this wi-fi 5 and also the wi-fi 6 routers okay yeah so all others without the wi-fi you might need to use it with our apis to give out the wi-fi signals okay so what kind of Customer scenarios we use a uh, router. So some place like office, hotel, church, uh, restaurants, apartment, villas. Yeah, actually, basically everywhere which we have the internet will require a router. Yeah, so you guys can see this. This is just a sum of topologies. So very basic topologies as a network. So inside this, we have these routers. So with routers, we can have the call switch. Yeah, call switch then to uh, to the access switch. Then access switch will be connect to APs or IP cameras or even IP4, IP TV. So using a rigid cloud, you're able to use the app or web yeah, to control. And this rigid cloud is totally free. So this is, we have this when load balancing. So you can have multiple ISP. Yeah, ISP just means that the internet service provider. So you can have Singtel, M1 or Starhub or that. Yeah, come inside to your routers so they can work as a load balancing we can, or we can say that load as a backup so when Singtel down and one still working yeah so your internet won't, won't, won't be down yeah so we have different of uh, concurrent users yeah so, so for this case you guys can see the model name EG2 yeah EG2 something which means they need 200 concurrent users and even we support for the VPN as well yeah VPN open VPN IPsec VTP L2TP different kind of VPN and also the free cloud management Free cloud management is, means that just, you can use the rigid cloud for free, no need to purchase any items. And then we have a minimum 3 years warranty. Yeah, we have this uh, user friendly configurations, easy to learn. So you can just use your rigid cloud app to set up. Yeah. So the next we can is that we have this easy delivery projects, even advanced features. So for the first one, we do have this network VLAN planning. Yeah, so we can just use our app to plan for the VLAN. So the next one will be the portal authentications. So this EG, our gateway, our routers are able to support this as well. And also the app block. Yeah, you can block any app or you can do some speed limit and also the VPN setup. Okay, so from here, the first feature is that it has an unbreakable multiple WAN internet. Yeah, so as I said just now, because this has a multiple ISP, so it's able to do the load balancing yeah, if you have different kind of ISP, they will able to speed up the load. Or even when when your ISP is down, then you will go through the other one, this 4G to have this, I can say this internet access. Yeah, it's, you can say this is a seamless failover. Yeah, so when one ISP is down, it will seamless uh, fail over to the other ISP to, con to continue to serve. And also we're able to aggregate the bandwidth. So let's say, so Singtel have 100 and then M1 have 100, then we aggregate them. So become 200 mps for the bandwidth yeah so automatic setup and also is a, you can customize the link weight as well so the next is the bandwidth management yeah so we're able to manage the bandwidth uh, according to the applications or even the users yeah so we have different applications will have different bandwidth priority so the next one is the photo page so we are, you can you can customize your own yeah so we have a one click locking the voucher code or even account yeah then the advertisement url after looking and also we have the web ui so we actually you guys can customize yourself the on the designs like the colors what the logos you want to put or even what's the name you want to put yeah so you can just customize it so the next one is the uh, app blocking yeah so you're able to block the app like in your office you want to block some video streaming app like uh, youtube uh, facebook social media social media uh, twitter instagram all that yeah and also be able to track who is taking out our internet speed so in the routers we're able to see like which ip 
uh, using how many traffic or what they are doing so what's the what's the main main website they're going to and also we're able to have a full network centralized management what do we say is yeah because after we have our routers then we're able to manage our APs as well under the same page yeah so this is one of our models this is a Wi-Fi 5 Wi-Fi 5 models for the Wi-Fi routers yeah so actually you can see this shape is a, a rectangle it's very fancy so for this models this is an EG105 GWT yeah it's a, it's a very small size and strong ability so normally this kind of routers i would recommend you can maybe you can put inside a house or even some retail shop yeah in a retail shop you can just use this because because maybe with some shop then we don't want to lay lay a land cable for others aps then we can just use this ready mesh to mesh it out you just need to give a power to your aps access point then you can just click on this ready mesh and pair them up yeah so it's the same it support the load balancing which i introduced to you guys just now and also it support for the ip set the vpn the open vpn lvtp all that yeah so able to support multiple vlan as well and uh, this is a free cloud management so for the next one is this this is the wi-fi 6 model so this is a 105 gwx yeah see so wi-fi 6 model is the same it support uh this is the high, highest speed the wi-fi 6 and this is the ax3000 maximum throughput yeah and also they support ready mesh as well and also support for the load balancing as well as a vpn and also it's have a free cloud management so for now here are all the high end more higher end models yeah support up to 2000 users and also the features are more or less the same just that they're able to support higher throughput uh, support higher concurrent users so and this is able to support the ng sap plus yeah and also have up to thousands ipsec tunnels and also in the end also able to support the free cloud management yeah so from here you guys can see we can just we can just uh combine the firewall actually in, for this router is come with some basic firewall features like ips intrusion prevention system or even like a network behavior of it so we based from this mbr series so actually you can just like totally replace them into here and also it's able to act as a wireless controller as well so actually you can just use out this one router you can see this all in one firewall uh, network behavior ips then also ac yeah become our mbr routers okay so just now are all the details about a routers the ready routers okay so let us continue with our ready wireless so our ready wireless family ips will have these are all the families that we have so we have the wall APs and the ceiling APs. These that we can conclude as an indoors APs, indoors. And also we have the outdoor APs as well. So for the wall APs, yeah, so we have the Wi-Fi 5 series and the Wi-Fi 6 series. And also for the ceiling APs, so we have the Wi-Fi 5 as well, Wi-Fi 5 models, Wi-Fi 6 models. Yeah, the 2260 more uh, series, yeah, as you can see. And then we have this outdoor APs. So like uh, you can see this is like a sphere shape. It's a uh, IP60. Six, some are IC68, some are IC665 They are able to do for the weatherproof So we'll start from the Wi-Fi 5 models Yeah, so this is the RAP2200 So we have Wi-Fi 5 models Which is the IP2200E And also the F So E is means that it's a gigabit Ethernet Yeah, and also for the F is a fast, fast Ethernet Fast Ethernet means that this is the maximum have a 100 max 100 Mbps So for our IP as well, you see we are able to support uh, roaming yeah so when you move from some place to another place it will don't drop the, the wi-fi signal and also we able to support an mu MIMO, multiple input multiple output for faster efficiency network connections and also we have the cloud management as well so our APs will do not require for the on-premise controller so we can just use our this uh rich cloud to do the management so this is a wi-fi 5 series selling AV. So the next I'm going to intro is this IP 2260E. So this is uh, X3200. The maximum throughput is a 3200 speed. And also it's a multi-G. What is a multi-G? Multi-G means that the port is a 2.5G port. It's not only 1G. It's a 2.5G port. So the speed even faster. And also it is a 4x4. 4x4 Ethernet. So you have 4 out, 4 in. So the overall speed is very high. And also, we are able to support a uh, high concurrent users, 512. 
So we able to deploy it in a density place. It's a very high dense place, and also it able to support a ready mesh as well. Yeah. So here are some of the report test report from Tolly. So based on our this two six zero E for the performance on two point four G gigahertz radio. So you guys can see our performance actually are better than them. So for the next model, I'm going to introduce is this two two six zero G. This two two six zero G. Um, it's a basic model for 2260, the Wi-Fi 6 model and then this is a 2x2 so this now is a 4x4 so it's a 2x2 and the uh, speed is at x 1008, 180 and then it has a 2 gigabit box and also this uh, recommend user is unconscious so we're able to support for the high density scenario using our APs so these are to conclude to into comparison between our in-house models so just now I mentioned this, this now this is a Wi-Fi 5 the 2200 is a Wi-Fi 5 model and for this 2260 is a Wi-Fi 6 model so very obvious the Wi-Fi 5 is a 00 so for the G is a uh, for the G is a basic model and for the E is an enhanced we can say as an enhanced model so just now I already introduced to you guys this have a 2.5 G so from here just to introduce another two more models so now we see the g and e so now you can you, you can maybe you might be get confused if why is this here got another 2260 but without the alphabet behind and then this h yeah so without the alphabet behind we can say this is uh, maybe a value version of 2260 e so as this is uh, only a 2 by 2 and then the throughput is also uh, 3000 and it also have a 2.5 G. So these two difference are just that this MIMO is only 2 by 2 and this is a 4 by 4. So in the end here got a H. H we can consider is a very high end or the highest end model for 2260 series. So this is a 4 by 4 MIMO. And then the speed can go up to 5.95 is around 6 Gbps. And then this have a 2 times 2.5 G box. So this is a uh, highest end models that we have for this 2260 series we do also have a round APS as well yeah it's a Wi-Fi 6 model AX3000 series so this is how it looks like how can we install and then this able to support for the ready mesh as well yeah so you can see so from the first one we connect to a switch and then the second one maybe we just give it the power then we can pan them up using ready mesh so you don't need to pull another cable for the second APS so again you're going to compare between this rounds and also the square what's the difference so the first is that this round shape is a uh, 2.97 we can call it as an x3000 x3000 maximum throughput for the 2266 and then the different difference is actually the pot this only has a one gigapot one gigabit pot so these are just their difference the mainly is the shape the throughput and also the network pot so just now we talk about the ceiling APs yeah for those that install on the ceiling so the next I'm going to talk about for the wall access. I think you guys are familiar with this model as well. You guys can see. Okay, so we have this wall APs. This is Wi-Fi 5 models, 1200P and 1200F. 1200P, what is mean by this P? P is mean by the PoE out. The first port, you guys can see the first port actually is a PoE out port. So from this port, you can, might be able to connect to your IP phone or even CCTV or other devices that you require PoE out. But this one actually can come with four port lah. Just that the first port is a PoE out port. Yeah, four other port, three other ports are just a uh, normal LAN port. Yeah, and then this able to support re mesh as well. And for the for the device for on the right hand side, this is one two zero zero F. So this is only just a one port, one port switch. A one port AP, sorry, one port AP, which able to come up with the Wi-Fi. So this kind of wall AP is actually very convenient. You can just if your if your room is just not so big, actually you can just install this small AP, even cheaper, even smaller. But the performance is still the same, and also including the Wi-Fi. So this is Wi-Fi five models in this market. We do consider Wi-Fi six as well. So now we already have this Wi-Fi six model. 1260 is the same. 12606 is meant for Wi Fi 6. And then, so it's a, basically you are the same. Yeah, so you're able to have a four LAN port output. Yeah, four LAN port output. You have to support Ray Yeah, concurrent use up to 512 for maximum. So you guys can see it's very easy to fit to some. Like right? this, at the six square, I think very common. 118 or even the 120 standard. So it will fit all kinds of scenarios. 
for this model 1260 wall a piece so you might have your own design different kind of uh, colors you might don't want it to be white colors maybe you want other colors like uh, gold gray black or something yeah so only for this model we have this colorful options you guys can just pick uh, from up to six colors yeah so for the next one it's the same you guys can see it, the design is the same also yeah it's just that this is a wi-fi 6 model one two six zero one this is the same, it's a Wi-Fi 6 model and also support Kigabit, it's a very thin design and very nice design So just to have some uh, uh, very basic knowledge that we have improved this design for the Wi-Fi wi 6 uh, or AP model So we have a very thin service and now we are able to have this back heat dissipation and high thermal conductivity. Yeah, so we are able to be cooler Yeah, so we compare to other brands as well yeah, so ours is cooler. Actually, they're able to support Wi Fi 6 and also able to support up to AX3000 throughput. Yeah, so it actually is very fast. And then, yeah, it's the same. It's able to do the re mesh as well. And then, also the same. we able to do the portal, captive portal. So, actually, it's very, very, very convenient and also very, very uh, efficient. You, just, you don't need to purchase the router, you can just purchase our APs to do this portal authentication like a pro so our, our APs were able to support this so not necessary to have our routers so just now the wall APs and the ceiling APs are the indoors APs so now about for outdoors APs yeah so here are the really outdoors AP family yeah from Wi-Fi 5 yeah I can see where they have this very thin shape this is a new product actually later on I will talk about then we have this the Wi-Fi uh, like a sphere shape yeah, so this is Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, these are 2 gigabit port and also we have this SFP port as well for more for you to deploy longer distance and even we have this 6262 and then this is able to support at 3000s and also a higher end which means the H series H, do 6262H yeah, so we able to support 2.5G port and also the SFP yeah, so this have a IR just put X6000 okay, so these are just the but uh, the explain to you guys some of the features that we have so for this 626 model so we have this kind of sphere shape and also we have this 626g like a rectangle or square shape so the difference between them actually is just on the port i can say it's just on the port SAP port because some people might need to use the SAP port to deploy in a longer range and then the installation scenario is like swimming pool parking beach or garden then you guys can see actually the Working temporary range is very large from negative 30 to 65. Yeah, and then this is the IP68, and then it comes with a 6 kV the, the protection for lightning protection 6 kV 6 kilowatt. So from here, we can do some comparison between our in house models. So from the 6260H, so this is the highest model, highest end in this series 6260. Yeah, and then this is a 6 gigabits. I have 6262 is a 3 gigabit and then 6262G is a 1008 and then 6260G is come with a fiber pots come with fiber pots and then this look like a rectangle shape so we have different kind of outdoor AP as well and also for this outdoor APs the range actually can go up to around 200 meters in an open area yeah so just now I mentioned this is actually a new product so this is a very convenient Auto APs. So this is a Wi-Fi 5, and then this is omnidirectional, and also detachable and famous. And then this is IP65. So this is a very cost-effective APs villa or like a retail shop environment. They can just put this at the outdoors to give the guests for the Wi-Fi as well. So I've seen now like gardens, backyard, outdoor bistro, and public wi stuff. So why we come up with this? Models actually we design it for low density, so it's a very cost effective. So some of the key selling point for this APs, this is able to support the standalone portal as well. As you guys can see, you can design your own portals. Then the radio, you can use the radio card to lock in for with the voucher lock in. So you guys can see it's very professional. You can just design your own using our radio card. And then the next one is the Romi. When you from from here to the other front there they were able to auto switch over to the APs so you don't experience any internet drop as well so this support ready mesh as well they support the roaming detachable antenna and also we have this tiny it's a very tiny design and the IP65 and also the installation is very flexible so you guys can see comparison between 
this and our normal Wi-Fi IP which is round shape you can see it's very thin actually you just stick to the wall no need to have like a lot large more space so you can see from here the innovation videos you can pour mount it or even you can wall mount it so the bracket actually is uh, uh, provided uh, the bracket is already provided so here to just showcase you guys some features that we have so for RayJet we have this so called uh, wireless optimization so we're able to scan the device nearby so you see initially all our channel 1 after that we scan then we going to auto detect uh, and also edit it it will auto edit to adjust to the channel sync so this is one of the features that we have so it's the same we able to, all our really APs are able to support the AP map actually you can just use our app to test first see whether which point are really weak then you can add up there yeah, and also we have this uh, very easy to set up you just use the mobile app to do the setup and also we are already APs for, for layer 3 roaming as well yeah so you from your room you come out then you when you are work near to this outside AP then you will connect to the AP roam smoothly between layer 3 networks with non-interaction okay Visco.